I think the most rewarding part about working at the Center for Writing and Public Discourse is having students who are repeat students who've come in over the years um, and watching how they've grown as writers. And seeing them go from one level of their writing skill and seeing them gradually excel to higher and higher levels. Through our help and the help of all of the consultants over the last couple of years, we've helped to establish new workshops, write-ins, community outreach. Our mission has grown to encompass um, promoting writing in the community and um, one of the programs that we put on is a partnership at Pomona High School where um, in the fall we go and assist um, graduating high school seniors with their personal statements for college. Personal statements at the end of the day are basically stories about who you are, why you want to do something, and why you're qualified for it. And so, as a Writing Center consultant, I've gone through extensive training. So for about a year, we have bi-monthly seminars where we discuss Writing Center theory and tutoring theory um, to talk about best practices in our field and the best approaches to different situations that consultants may come across. We have professors from each of the majors come in and talk to us once every two weeks and discuss what writing looks like in each of the disciplines. The Center, in an attempt, in a very good attempt to reflect the rest of CMC brings people in from all these different disciplines, from the sciences, from the social sciences, and everything like that, to really make sure that there's a fit for everyone that comes into the center. I really feel like my writing has personally been developed thoroughly as a result of coming in. In a typical consultation session, what happens is you would have already scheduled an appointment online, you would have uh, determined which consultant you're going to be working with. Sometimes we have walk-in hours too, but normally they'll book it in advance. When the student comes in, you greet them, offer them candy and tea, of course. A student can come in at any point in the writing process and really get deep, honest feedback. Some of them are not going to have a single idea about where to start. Some of them may have a thesis statement. I want to know what the class they're in is like, who their professor is. I want them to tell me about the paper, what they think about it, what they meant to argue or what they meant to say, what they wanted to convey to their reader, to their audience. Um, and then also figure out what exactly they want to focus on, whether that be the logical flow of the argument or you know, nitpicking on certain grammatical things or punctuation, etc. We'll then go through the paper, often reading aloud or maybe reverse outlining and trying to address those issues as they come up. And we look for all kinds of things. We look for thesis, we look for argument, clarity, conciseness. And then we wrap up the session by returning to those goals that we set out at the beginning and making sure that they were all addressed and in general leaving them with a plan to continue the revision of this paper or cover letter or whatever it is. During the Fulbright process, I spent a lot of time at the Center for Writing and Public Discourse. It was just incredibly useful for me as I was applying um, because the Fulbright process really requires students to have a good grasp on yourself and why you're motiv what motivates you and what can you do with that motivation. So it really is an introspective process and it really requires you to look at your life and how do you connect the dots of the things that you've done previously and how are you going to take that and carry forward with it. The student that I was working with um, really had a lot of epiphanies about her topic and she was just really excited and um, energized after she worked with me. And when he said it out loud, that's exactly what he wanted to write. And so we just started taking notes throughout the entire paper. And after that, after that session or towards the end of the session, we both looked, he said, N now it makes complete sense. And from that thesis statement grew an outline. And then he said, can I see you again? And from that outline grew a paper. And he was actually nice enough to show me that paper after Fresh had graded it, and he actually received an A on that, on that paper as well. And this one got Fulbright, so it was time very well spent. <laughs>